Ah. Hello. Mm. Mm. Let's make some funny faces. Mm. Oh my gosh, this one does with all the tongue movements. Ah, oh, this is so funny. Hey everyone, Kaz here and welcome to VR Discovery, where we experiment with VR and discover new things to do. Today, we're discovering the new HTC Vive Facial Tracker and on the HTC Vive Pro Eye. Yes, I uh, bought both of these just for the purpose of this video, but wait. Ah, this is uh, better. So uh, as my virtual avatar, I'll answer some of your most asked questions like I have some good news. This thing works with other VR headsets too. So in this video, I'll let you know which ones and how it works. As always, timestamps are below, but it does help us tremendously if you watch the entire video. And if you like VR and would like to be kept up to date, then uh, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And now join me beyond reality. Before we start making some crazy facial expressions, let me quickly tell you what this facial track is all about and uh, show you what's in the box and the setup. So what the heck is the Vive Facial Tracker? Well, this thing can capture lower face movements with precision. ACC released it last week and promises near zero latency at 60 Hz tracking rate. It can track up to 38 facial movements using dual cameras. This thing basically levels up our social VR experiences. There are some things to consider though, like games need to support it. ACC also said before it was only compatible with the Vive Pro series, which is not true, so that's good news but this video will talk about all this in just a bit the vive facial tracker can be bought for 130 us dollars from march 24th in the us and in europe it's actually available now for 139 euros in the box you get some warranty papers a quick start guide and of course the facial tracker that connects using a usb-c cable before we move to the fun stuff, let me show you how to put it on the headset. Remove the face cushion first, then the compartment cover where the cables go in. Now turn the headset around and uh, grab the facial tracker. It will have some protection on the double-sided tape which I removed already. Now align these cylinders with the holes at the bottom of the headset. Make sure it's there nice and tight and then using a provided clip you can attach it to the ventilator grates. Then loop the cable and connect it to the USB-C slot on the headset. Reattach the cover and face cushion. Then last thing to do is to install the uh, tracker software at vive.com and it should work immediately. If you want, you can also use a screwdriver to reposition the tracker a little. That's it. Okay, let's jump into a game now and show you my real life face and that of my avatar so that you can compare. Welcome! So I just loaded up a random room in Nias VR. I think this is some kind of fishing mini game. It's currently still loading, so you might see the environment change and stuff. But uh, while it loads, I thought maybe we could uh, talk about the uh, supported games. Because for now, the only games that support the Vive Facial Tracker are Nias VR and Virtual Cast. So uh, let me actually zoom in the camera a little bit so you can see my face tracking better. Okay, so this is better, right? I think you can see my face expressions a little bit better. So Neos VR is what we are currently in. And for those that don't know this game, this is a shared social universe where you can collaborate in real time with others. For example, create games or avatar designs together. It's really great. I never knew it was this extensive before making this video. So uh, I'll uh, mostly be sharing my first impression on this lip tracker inside this game. So I know a lot of you wanted me to jump into VRChat with this, however I found that it does not work in VRChat right now and any other games as far as I know, but it is new hardware so it could be that the more supported games will just come later in the future. Okay, so let's actually zoom in a little bit more so you can see my face better and the face tracking. <laughs> you can see this character has some uh, nice face movements that uh, moves with me and yes I can also wink at you guys if I want to I don't think this one can frown I'm trying to frown right now it doesn't work so let me switch to a different avatar to show you um, let me go to the first person view first zoom out a little okay um, stand here I'm picking an avatar that uh, 
some people help me uh, make my gripping her okay let's go back to third person okay so let's zoom in a little bit to uh, her face hello so this avatar has one thing that my other avatar did not have and that is the tongue look at this <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there is one thing that you have to keep in mind when you want to uh, purchase this facial tracker is that your avatar also needs to support it and you can make it work yourself or with the help of with other people but it needs specific blend shapes for certain things to work like the tongue sl sticking out with uh, this will only work with the right blend shape so my avatar currently might not be able to do every movement that I do in real life since I'm not that technically adept in uh, making VR avatars, but I did have two amazing guys in the uh, Neos VR community help me out with this tongue. <laughs> so uh, thanks to uh, both of them. As you can see, my current avatar doesn't do as much as uh, my little Ready Player Me avatar over there. Uh, this is an avatar that I created with that website, by the way. I will link it below. It's super easy to create. Just upload a picture of yourself and it will automatically generate an avatar for you. Super easy. So check it out. I'll link it below. And for now, I think I'm going to change to a different avatar. Because there is one avatar that has face tracking ready. So let me spawn it. Okay, oops, something went wrong. It wasn't loading for me, so I thought it wasn't working. But uh, now I accidentally <laughs> spawned multiple of this avatar. Let me just delete a couple so that I don't lag away. I don't know if that will happen, but... Okay, uh, let's go to third person. Hello! <laughs> you might have seen this one before. Let me zoom in a little. Okay, mm. <laughs> Hello! Uh, hello! Mm. Mm. Let's make some funny faces. Oh my gosh, this one does it with all the tongue movements. Ah, this is so funny! <laughs> ah, this is so weird! Oh my god. Okay, wink, wink. Closing my eyes, opening my eyes. Frown, frowning. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, if someone's listening to me right now, they are probably thinking, who is this crazy person? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. But as you can see, this works nicely and it's just so awesome. <laughs> so let me tell you about uh, one of the most asked questions is whether this works on other VR headsets. So HTC designed this tracker to work and to fit the 5 Pro VR headset. This is a bit unfortunate as that's not a consumer headset, so it's expensive. But I've got some good news. I've tested the facial tracker on other headsets and it works. So I've tested this personally on the Valve Index, which works. You can uh, insert the facial tracker in the USB-C slot in the front with a USB-C female to USB-A male adapter. There are some things to take into account here though, since the tracker is designed for a 5 Pro, you will need to find a way to mount it on the index. I've been using tape for this, a temporarily ugly measure, but uh, it works. However, I did find that um, the positioning isn't entirely right and it doesn't track my face as well as with the 5 Pro. I guess we need someone to design a 3D printed mount for us here, which I'm sure will happen at some point. Uh, but at least we now know that it works. So in DSVR, I also met a guy who uh, uses uh, the facial tracker with the Vive Cosmos. So it works with that headset as well. And uh, since the Cosmos has a USB-C slot already, you don't need any adapters. So this is why I think that this should work with other headsets as well, if they have a USB slot on them. Except on Quest 1 and 2, it doesn't work by putting it in the headset's USB-C slot. However, you can make it work if you use a very long USB cable extension to your computer. But that is probably something you only want to do when more games support it, or if you're a full body tracking fanatic, I think. So, okay, let's uh, stand here and enjoy the view together while I share some final thoughts. So, 
I think it's promising tech. I can see this becoming the future of social VR. But I do think having to buy all these five hardware separately could be expensive, especially taking into account that we're currently seeing a trend in headset manufacturers all looking into enhancing our social experiences. Like Facebook is looking into face tracking for the Quest 3 and 4. The DecaCare is coming out that promises face tracking integrated as well as hip tracking for $450 only. So if you're on a budget, it might be worth it to just wait. However, if you don't mind spending the money, the 5 facial tracker is incredibly fun to use. Before you buy it though, I would recommend to wait until more VR games have support for it, but I'll keep you updated on this channel. In case you don't want to wait, I highly recommend checking out Neos VR. It might be a little bit overwhelming at first, but uh, you can open up a public tutorial room and the nice people in here will join you and help you with any questions you might have. I thought that was a really friendly feature. Anyways, it's time to uh, log out of this metaverse. So what games do you think should get support for the HG5 facial tracker? Let me know in the comments below as well as if you are getting one of these. And if you like what we do, you can support us for free by leaving a like, commenting down below or just watching more videos. I really appreciate it. Without all of you, I would not be here. So thank you so, so much. And a special thanks go to all our champions, especially these ones down below right now. And as always, VR on.